Hi, in this lesson, you will learn about stopping timers. A timer executes a function repeatedly until the timer is stopped. In JavaScript, we can stop timers using a built-in function called stopTimer. The stopTimer function stops the timer from executing a function again. The stopTimer function has one parameter. The name of the function that was passed to the timer that is being executed repeatedly. For example, let's try stopping the timer in the previous example, where the program printed high every second. We add a function call to stop timer within the callback function, which is the function we pass to the set timer function in main. When this program is ran, the program will print high to the console after one second, and the timer is stopped. But what if we wanted to stop the timer after it called print high five times? To do this, we need to add additional conditional logic to the program. We add a counter to keep track of the number of times that the function has been executed. We move the stop timer function call within an if statement that checks whether the counter is equal to 5. After each execution of the function, the counter is incremented by 1. If we rerun this, we see that the program will print high every second and stops after the fifth. Let's dive in and create this program. When we run the code, we see that the timer is calling the draw function every half second. When the draw function is called, it draws a circle of a random color, a random size, and places it on a random position on the canvas. But let's change the code to stop the timer after it draws the circle 100 times. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add our stop timer to our draw function. So we write stop timer, and we pass the name of the function that was passed to our set timer. In this case, it's the draw function. So we write draw. And when I run the code, we see it draws one circle. If I rerun the code, it draws another one. But we want it to stop drawing after 100 circles have been drawn. So what we can do is we can first add a, a counter. So at the top, let's create a counter and set it to zero. Also, let's add some conditional logic that says if the counter is equal to 100 circles, then we'll stop the timer. So if we run the code, we see that it's still not working exactly as we planned. That's because we need to increment the counter every time a circle is drawn. So the way that we do that is after a circle is drawn, we can write counter plus plus. To make this easier to see, let's actually set this condition to read counter is equal to 10. So this program should draw 10 circles and then stop. And as planned, it stopped after drawing 10 circles. So instead of writing a value here, we can also create a constant. Let's call it max circles. And down, and down here, we can replace 100 with max circles. And when we rerun the program, we see that it draws 100 circles and then stops. Great. Now it's your turn to explore this example.